Well, everybody, we're getting ready to do some cooking here, but I wanted to give you a quick class about measuring spoons because there's lots of different types of measuring spoons out there. And I just wanted to share with you kind of what's in my arsenal of measuring spoons. And uh, there's stainless ones, which is what I would recommend. Definitely get stainless. Uh, these things are gonna last forever. The plastic ones just, you know, they'll get busted up and scratched and they just don't hold the, the shelf life like stainless ones do. But you've got round ones. Here's another set of round ones here. Uh, kind of like these, they're kind of lightweight. Uh, they usually always have a ring around them. You can take the rings off if you want, but um, I usually just leave them all ringed up because then I just grab them. Um, here's another one that's got an oval shape rather than a round, kind of an oval shape. And then here's some more rounds. And, uh, and then here's a plastic one here you might be interested in. Uh, it actually has an adjustable, so I can go on this one, I can go from one teaspoon to one tablespoon. And then this one has uh, all the way down to an eighth of a teaspoon. And you can go up to one whole teaspoon here. Um, one thing about measuring spoons, okay, let's, uh, let's start with this. If I'm going to do a recipe, here's my recipe. You'll notice on my recipe sheets, a, a, a lot of people have their largest ingredient first and then it goes smaller, smaller, smaller. Uh, you'll find on some of mine though, that even in the wet ingredients, if I'm doing wet and dry ingredients, sometimes I'll do the wet ingredients first because you take your wet ingredients and you can just boom, 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 boom and you, you haven't left your hand with the measuring spoon. So I just measured this and measured this, and oh, I need a spoon of this, and I measured this. And so I put all that in here, and then usually the wet, I'm just gonna put it in a container like that so I'm not messing up my uh, area. So I've got one set of spoons for the wet. My other set of spoons is for the dry. So that way I'm not having wet and then dry and then wet and then dry and clumping up and messing up your spoons and messing up all your spices. And so sometimes the recipe will be in that order where you can do all the wet ones first and then all the dry ones second. So it, it's a much faster process when you're actually doing recipes. Uh, so you'll see that, you know, it's in a little different order than most chefs would do because I want more efficiency in your process at home than most chefs know how to do. So that's why I do it that way. Um, another thing, when it comes to these spoons, uh, there's short ones like this, and then there's long ones. Now, short ones, I don't like as much because here's a thing of garlic. I will never get this in there far enough to reach my garlic. It, you know, so it, it just doesn't work for me. I would much rather have a longer spoon that's going to get down in there so I can do my measurements. See how that works? So you want to have that longer spoon to do that. The other issue though, when it comes to these longer ones or any spoon for that matter, is a round spoon sometimes does not fit in these containers. So that's another issue. That's not going to fit in there. This one's not going to fit in there. It just doesn't fit. You know, the smaller ones do fine. So that's where the oval or the, the long ones like this work, where you can actually get in there and do your measurement. Um, these longer ones are usually better for dry ingredients. The wet, the wet ingredients, it has too much bouncing around. And so you'll, you'll get slop and, and it doesn't quite, where I like the rounds better for liquid because the liquid uh, stabilizes better. It's, it's not like a big ocean wave going like this when you're trying to measure it out. It, it stays more concentrated. So uh, that, that's, but these are still my dry spoons and uh, I still use these for my wet spoons over here. So, uh, just a couple little tips trying to share with you secrets in the kitchen about your spoons. So find something that is easy to clean, doesn't have a bunch of little areas, like this one's got these little grooves here that make it more and more difficult to clean. 
And uh, so I'm looking for something that's easy to clean. It's gonna last. And then I've got my round ones and my ovals and then the long ones so I can get into my containers. That's the way we do it. Just giving you one of the little secrets of the kitchen. Thank you.